بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وی آر ڈسکسنگ گال بیٹ اور امیجنگ اور مین ٹاپکس اور کولی لیتھیسس اینڈ کولی سسٹائٹس امیجنگ میٹیلٹیز فور گال بیٹ اور ڈیزیزز نمبر ون ایکس رے نمبر ٹو الٹرا سونوگرافی نمبر تھری سی ٹی اسکین نمبر فور ایم آر آئی اینڈ نمبر فائیو آئیسوٹوپ اسکین دیٹ از ہائڈا اسکین ڈفرینشیل ڈائگنوسس آف کولی لیتھیسس اینڈ کولی سسٹائٹس انکلوڈس اپینڈسائٹس پرفریٹڈ پیپٹیکل سر ایکیوٹ پینکرٹائٹس ایکیوٹ پائلو نفرائٹس مایوکارڈیل انفارکشن رائٹ لوور لوب نمونیا ہیئر وی ہیو الٹرا ساؤنڈ آف دا گال بیڈر وی کین سی اسموتھ والس آف دا گال بیڈر in this black area or any quick area represents fluid that is bile in it and here we see there is mild thickness noted in the wall of the gallbladder which is because of partially contracted phase after fatty meal normally in distended gallbladder wall thickness should be up to 3 mm This is an example of uh, CT of the liver and gallbladder. We can see smooth walled gallbladder and this low density area represents bile in it. And here we see this is part of the right lobe of the liver, inferior vena cava, left renal vein, aorta, superior mesenteric vein and artery here we can see air in the gut loops so wall thickness should be up to or below 3 mm this is a normal value of the wall thickness of the gallbladder this is x-ray of the abdomen where we can see multiple rounded and oval shaped bredo dense areas in right hypochondrium suggesting gallstones and the problem in the x-ray is that we are unable to comment on status of the wall of the gallbladder so for proper assessment of the wall of the gallbladder we have to use ultrasound number one which is uh, readily available and cheap modality while CT can also be used in complicated cases for the assessment of status of the gallbladder wall. But on x-ray we can only see radio dense calculi in the gallbladder while gallbladder wall cannot be assessed with the help of x-ray. But in couple of cases when gallbladder wall is calcified we can comment it as porcelain gallbladder while we can see air in the wall of the gallbladder which will be called as emphysematous cholecystitis so these are the two conditions where we can comment on gallbladder wall with the help of x-ray here we see lumbar vertebrae sacroiliac joints hip bone and hip joints this is an example of the ultrasound where we can see smooth walled gallbladder and bile in it while in this picture we can see the echogenic area within the lumen of the gallbladder suggesting gallstone posterior equestric shadowing because of this stone in it wall of the gallbladder is smooth and thin So this is the case of cholelithiasis. Here we have seen gallstones with the help of x-ray. Second example is that we can use ultrasound to see gallstones. And another example where we can see stone in the gallbladder while wall of the gallbladder is normal. This is third example, CT of the abdomen. This is gallbladder and we can see rounded high density area suggesting gallstone this is lumbar vertebra bony canal left kidney 
an aorta with a thermometer calcification in its wall lower portion of the right lobe of the liver and here we see psoas muscles air in the gut loops so third example is we can see or assess gallstones with the help of CT scan and this is fourth modality that is MRI here we can see this is gallbladder bile appears bright or gives hyper intense signals on T2 weighted axial image while stone in it presents hypo intense or low signal intensity area within the lumen of the gallbladder upper pole of the right kidney and this is left kidney aorta IVC part of the pancreas and this is liver so we have seen cholelithiasis with the help of x-ray of the abdomen ultrasound of the abdomen CT of the abdomen and MRI so we have used multiple modalities and our routine modality is x-ray and ultrasound ultrasound is best modality we can see gallstone and we can also assess wall thickness and pericholecystic spaces along with remaining sounding abdominal viscous so whenever we are looking for gallstones initially we can use x-ray and we can take the help of ultrasound ct can be used in complicated cases while there is uh, usually no need to use mri just for the assessment of gallstones because it is a costly modality and is not available everywhere thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah